Hey guys, this is Game of Cow doing Super Mario Galaxy 2, and we are going back into this star. So there is clearly more to do. Um, I think I am going to take that warp pipe this time, actually, and see what um, you know, if we can skip any of this, just because. So yay, we are going back into the desert. You know, deserts are scary and stuff, but um, we still need to go there anyway, and I am not going to get through there by jumping. Ow, ow, that was stupid. Stupid cow. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, so there is a pipe, and we're gonna go down the pipe just because we can. Oh, yeah, it's a bonus game thing. Oh, well, that was kind of stupid, wasn't it? Um, yeah, we don't need these, but I guess it's kind of cool because I can probably use these later on as some um, chance, you know, chance cube fodder. So, it's not the end of the world, it's just not really what we're supposed to be doing, you know? But whatever, I'm not really too fussed about getting them all, I just want to get some. Hopefully I'm not going to die now and lose them all because that would be kind of gay. But, oh well. Oh yes, the other star that has the stupid pipe, isn't it? Oh, damn it, I knew that was going to happen. I was too hasty. Hastiness is not always a good trait. You know, especially considering it lowers your defense. Ah, that was a bad reference. Okay, right, so stupidness aside, we are going around a place. And I do not believe I didn't die there, actually. That was really kind of stupid to do that. So, we are now going to kill a Pokey, maybe. No, we're not, we're just going to jump over them instead. Okay, right, so. Come on, let me up. Oh, freaking die. Ah. Honest to God. Yeah, you'd have heard my, um, the cable rattling against my bed there, actually, but, um, I don't care. That was just there. That was, that was so stupid. To get hit like that was just... Uh. Okay, right, so, checkpoint, and now we are going to this place. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was that slidey slide that was just really dangerous and just went, ah. Wait, 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 that's not fair. That's not freaking fair, you can't put it there. <laughs> oh my god, that was not funny. You know, uh, it's obviously funny in terms of laughing and whatnot, but that's not fair. You're not allowed to put it there. How are you supposed to get that without knowing beforehand? How are you supposed to get it even when you do know? <laughs> well, it's easy enough to get. You've just got to actually be controlled, which is something I am not. Therefore, we are going to spend several times trying to get this, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, it is it is a bit of a stupid one, but... Ah, it is stupid in the sense of it kills you if you don't get it, but at the same time it doesn't feel like so much of a dick move as the um, the other one that was in Flipsville. I guess it is semi-dickish because it does put it right at the start, so you have like no reaction time. Jesus Christ. But um, it's nowhere near as bad for some reason. Oh, this is why, because there's a checkpoint right next to it, so you don't really have to do any of the level in order to have another go. Which is what was completely different, of course, about the um, the other one. And yeah, it's really not that hard to get. You just have to pay a little bit of attention, which is admittedly pretty difficult for somebody like me, but... Yeah, it... It just doesn't feel as bad, you know? But... Hey, I'm I'm weird, so you know, obviously anything I find different is um or difficult is not necessarily difficult for everybody else. So, third star, and I already know pretty much where it's gonna be, it's just, you know, where on the trail is it? I know it's gonna be on that crane thing, I just don't know um where on the crane it's gonna be. I, d I guess I don't really know if it is a crane or not, it's more of a sandbird. Wait, it's not there? Oh, they missed a trick. They really missed a trick. They should have put it on the on the crane thing. Oh well, I guess I'll be back when I get closer to the star then.
Okay, right, so I don't know if it's going to be on here or if it's going to be um, somewhere else, but I kind of hope it's not on this um, slide thing, because honestly, that would be kind of um, a pain in the ass. Especially if it's anywhere near these guys. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it wherever it is, that's for sure. Oh god, it is as well. Oh, freaking, that's just not fair. Uh, at least I know where it is now. Okay, so you want to be on that side. There we go. Yeah, see, as soon as you know where it is, it's not difficult. And in fairness, the um, the rollable, the, the roller cylinder things that would force you on that right hand side anyway. In fairness, it's not really that much of a dick move. It's just, it's just annoying the first time round because there's almost no way you're gonna get that star first time. You have to know where it is before you can get it, and that's marginally annoying. Okay, right, so there's only two stars in this place, so I think if I clear this one just now, because this one could also be very annoying. Fleet Glide is a, was a pain in the ass, so, um, you know, considering Wild Glide was pretty rough as well. This one could be extremely dickish, I guess is the best word for it. It could be a big pain to try and get them here. It depends where they put them. So, there is one right near the start. Wait, um, no, it's not uh, right literally at the start. Um, I can't get up anyway, so... Um, yeah. But there is one really, really close to the start. It's right there! Okay. So, what am I actually going to do with this? I think what I might actually do is to try and look for the second one. Because I know that one's there, and it's pretty much going to be... It's pretty much going to be a straight nosedive from the start to get to that one, so... It might actually be worth going for the second star first. Yeah, because... Maybe? Actually, maybe not. I don't know how I would get that one right now. Well, in any case, I've got to look for the second star, so... Yeah, um... Going round. I really, really hope it wasn't somewhere there. Whoa, 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 Mr. Birdie, you are going way too fast. Way too fast. I didn't hear it there. I'm just really, really paranoid at this point that I've missed it. Um, okay, right, so it's probably going to be here somewhere. So, let's have a look around and see where it could be. Um,. Oh god, I forgot that thing closes, doesn't it? So, really obscure, ow, that was stupid, really obscure place to put it. Maybe. Where could it be, where could it be? Honestly, where, actually, where could it be? I didn't see anywhere that it could be. Hmm. Okay, so you can't get that one like quite like that then. Hmm. Alright, going around. I don't see it. And I don't hear it either. Okay, so it's not there. Um, it's not up there. Ah, that was stupid. Ah, that was worse, but, you know, whatever. Okay, right. Freaking hell, get down! Bird, damn it! Right. Let's have another look round. Um, if we fly to the other side... It's not even going to let us fly to the other side. It's not there. Oh, it's there! Okay. So... It's not going to let me get that one. But, right, I know where it is, so let's make a better attempt at getting it. 
Alright, so it's up. So we're gonna have to stay relatively high. And yep, we can get to it from here, I think. And yes, there we go. That is how you do it. Okay, right, so that's how you get that one. But how do you get the first one? Because the straight up nosedive didn't seem to work. Hmm, I'll be back in a minute. Ah, oh, looks like a straight up nosedive is gonna have to work because you can't get off of here. Welp. Oh, it does work. <laughs> well, it looked as if it didn't, so I don't know, you know? Oh well, oh well. Okay, so that's five. Um, I don't know if I have time to do more. I think with cutting stuff out, I probably do though. Even though 200 stars would be a good place to leave it, I think I do have time to do another one. So, let's go ahead and do another one. Uh, three stars in that place. Yeah, let's start this one. So, into Shiverburn we go. And, yeah, this is going to be quite interesting, I think. Because uh, the first star in this one had some pretty interesting properties about it. So, you know, or the star in this one. So, we might have to go quite far out with a cloud for some of this. Um, yeah, well there's not one on him, so that's good. Ha. Huh. So, let's have a look see. Um, I can't hear one right from the start, that's, that's a thing I guess. Um. I guess it would be kind of um, silly if we could hear one right from the start. Can I get a look around though? Ah, I can hear one now. Um, don't know what direction it was from though. Uh, it's from over here. So there is one around there somewhere then. Wait a minute, is it behind the rock? I have a feeling it's behind the rock. So, I guess we're going to have to freeze the place over and have a look-see. Um, so yeah, I guess there's not really a whole lot to say at the moment. It's just an elevator section with this guy here. Well, it's not really an elevator because we're not going up, but you know what I mean. It's the, um, it's that general idea. So, there is a cloud and a button. Let's go get the cloud, because the cloud is cool. Um, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. So, going on a thing like that, and I cannot see a green star over there. That is something else we can see. So, frozen the place over just because that is a cool thing to do. And yeah, let's have a look, see then if it is where I think it is. Whoa. Okay, so we could kill that guy. It's nice. Um, I have a feeling it's behind a rock somewhere. Um, no, it's not. It's up there. Okay. Um, is there another one though? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter because we're going up here. So that's that's really quite creative, actually. Using the um, frozen volcano as a place for the star to appear. That's really good. See, some of these are genuinely good. And that's going to easily fit into time as well, so good stuff. Anyhow, I didn't really use up the extra lives that I was doing this for, but I guess there's not really very much I can do about that. It's better to actually just get these things done well, and rather than messing up and losing lots of lives and being a right pain in the ass. So yeah, this has been Game of Car, you've been watching Super Mario Galaxy 2, and join us next time where we go into Shiver Burn again, there's two stars left to get. Probably get that done and uh, one of the other two galaxies done in the next video. So that should be good stuff. See you guys.